Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Nichijo, My Ordinary Life. This anime is often praised as one of the best slice of life anime series of all time, and since I'm a big slice of life anime fan, I just had to check it out. This anime mainly focuses on the lives of three high school students named Mio, Yuko, and Mai. It also spends some time focusing on a genius named Hakase, a robot named Nano, a cat named Sakamoto, and many other side characters. We get to see their everyday lives and how odd their lives are. This slice of life anime series separates itself from other slice of life shows by having the characters react to issues in the most over the top way possible. In a typical show, a character would react to seeing their crush be close to another person by being sad about it and probably sitting down in one place. In this anime though, characters sometimes react to heartbreak by running across town in a bizarre way. Sunurei's in typical anime series would punch a guy. Sunurei's in this anime series though would fire weapons at the guy when they're angry. It isn't just romance that is over the top. Everything in this anime is over the top. Like trying to get free food by catching food with your chopsticks. Explosions occur out of nowhere. A deer fights a person in the show. Even saying sorry is done in the most over exaggerated way possible. There is an amazing scene of a girl doing whatever it takes to save her food from falling onto the ground. There are random events that make you laugh out loud, like a bell falling onto a person out of nowhere. This show is basically a more extreme version of Asobi Aso Base, and that show was our extreme as it is. The problem I have with many slice of life anime shows is that they make me fall asleep too often. It can be relaxing, but oftentimes that turns to boredom. This slice of life anime show can be entertained throughout because of how random and extreme it can be at any moment. There wasn't a single scene that made me fall asleep. This anime also separates itself from other slice of life shows by focusing on so many characters. A typical slice of life show would have a main cast of four female characters and then a couple of side characters. But in this show, there were three main female characters and then a countless number of side characters. I was amazed that the anime studio was able to make each scene involving different characters to be extreme, bizarre, and exciting. Usually when I see a show cut away from main characters, I would be so disappointed. But in this anime, each side character had an interesting personality and odd way of going about things. Each character was enjoyable to watch in this anime series. They were each funny in their own way. Yuko was so funny when she was making such awkward jokes and being so dramatic at times. Mio was hilarious to watch as well because she kept trying to hide that she was into boys love. Mai was funny in her own unique way as she loved teasing Yuko and make her feel confused at times. Hakase and Nano were also fine together. Hakase made all these bizarre gadgets for Nano, and seeing her reaction to them was entertaining to watch. The opening and ending song for this anime series were entertaining to watch. The music was okay for this anime series. The animation style looked so good because it was so unique. I haven't seen any animation style look similar to that. The animation looked good as well. I do recommend to watch the anime series if you're a Slice of Life anime fan. Every scene in this anime was so exciting to watch. You never knew what crazy thing would happen next. I give this anime a 8 out of 10. So, that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day and night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.